Hey guys, doing one more beer review here. Um, just did the two uh, Oscar Blues beers, and I figured why not do another one? The sun's coming out. It's going to be a nice day, nice and cool, breezy, but sunny. Um, this beer was not sent to me by Norm. Uh, this is from another beer mail that came a day after Norm's arrived. And uh, it was from Jacob Schwekart, who you may recall already sent me a beer mail before in the past. Uh, notably uh, the KGB uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, sadly, I did not do an unboxing video of that one because two beers out of it were smashed. Uh, they both, he sent me two beers from Alley Cat, which also did the, uh, the KGB that I mentioned. Uh, so I'll be getting to those eventually. Uh, I believe it's a Maybach and a Oatmeal Stout. Can't remember right offhand. Uh, but this one is from the Wild Rose Brewery. And the other two, I believe, were also from Wild Rose. And they got smashed. It was a porter and an IPA. Um, but here, this one survived. The Wild Rose Brewery from uh, Calgary, Alberta. Uh, this is their brown ale. Dark brown and ruby hued. This ale exhibits rich notes of espresso and chocolate. Mildly hopped with a medium body and a clean finish. 5% alcohol by volume. Never heard of Wild Rose before, so this will be an interesting treat. Try something new. Uh, my thanks to Jacob Schwekart for sending this beer. Don't feel bad about the two smash beers. That shit happens, man. Uh, one I sent to uh, the Indosymbiosis there. One of the beers in that one got smashed. So, uh, you know, it happens. And especially these days where we have a strike ongoing in Canada Post. Um, you never know who they're getting to deliver the mail. They might they might be hiring scrubs on the side to smash things around while uh, the postal workers are crying and bitching and uh, striking because they're not being paid enough. Whatever. Alright guys, uh, we're going to get into this review now. Stop wasting time here blabbing. Alright, we're back. Uh, Wild Rose Brown Ale. Not much of a head. It is uh, brownish. Actually, I just, I'd, I'd say basically mahogany. There definitely is those ruby tints around the edges. Uh, that's the light coming through. Leads me to believe it's basically a really deep mahogany in color, which fits into the brown ale spectrum. So looks good. Not much of a head. It's got a thin little cap on there. So we'll go right to the smell. Mmm, porter-like. Uh, definitely has um, a little bit of that espresso coffee kind of smell. Not nutty and sweet like um, maybe like Newcastle and some other brown ales. Much more closer to a porter. It's got a little bit of a caramelized smell. But yeah, mostly um, kind of a mild espresso coffee smell. It's nice, inviting. And indeed, I am going to take the invitation. So here we go. Oh, nice. definitely not one of your um, sweeter brown ales. Mm. The flavors are big but mild. If you understand what I'm talking about, I'm not sure if I even understand what I'm talking about here. Um, <clears throat> it's got that caramel, slightly sweet caramel. Um, it's got this really nice nutty dry finish. Mmm. Very malty. Medium bodied. Light medium bodied. Smooth and easy to drink. Mmm.
The only hops present in the finish are just enough to balance out with the malts, which is what you want from a brown ale. You don't want a hoppy brown ale. At least I wouldn't think you would. I've never had a hoppy brown ale, so I, I can't really comment that much. Got a little bit of a toasty finish. Along with that dry nuttiness. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, it's not shattering my world. Uh, but it's a really, really good brown ale. Very solid brown ale is what I'd say. Very easy to drink. I can see myself drinking a lot of these. Um, 3.5 out of 5, I think. So that's a, you know, that's a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, nothing yet, nothing to shake a stick at, as they say. Whoever they are. Alright, so thanks to uh, Jacob Schweikart, and I'll be getting to your other beers you sent me. Probably after I finish all of Norm's beers. So, but I just wanted to get this quick one in. So thanks, dude. 3.5 out of 5 for Wild Rose. Wild Rose Brown Ale. Pretty damn decent beer. Pick it up if you find it. Good sessionable brown ale. Cheers, guys.